Puerto Rican Governor Ricardo Rousseau was already losing support gradually because, quite frankly, he's a horrible governor. But basically, something happened that was the straw that broke the camel's back. So there was almost 900 pages of leaked group chat messages between him and his top aides, and what these messages revealed were two very important things about the governor. First of all, he's just a horrible human being, and second of all, he is deeply, deeply corrupt. Now, as Francis Robles, Alejandra Rosa, and Patricia Maze of the New York Times reports, protests against Mr. Roseo began more than a week ago after the publication of 889 pages of a leaked group chat between the governor and his closest aides. Besides being offensive, the messages revealed a cozy relationship between the governor and former staff members who now represent special interests. The crude messages were the final straw for Puerto Ricans who have suffered for years because of economic austerity measures and the devastation of Hurricane Maria. Now, when they say that the messages were lewd, they weren't playing around because there was a lot of homophobia in here, there was misogyny, he made disgusting comments about Mayor of San Juan, Yulin Cruz, who also is a national co-chair for Bernie Sanders' 2020 campaign, for those of you who don't know, and on top of that, he literally mocked the victims of Hurricane Maria. People who died, he mocked them. So this is a disgusting human being, and this was so damaging to his reputation that he announced that he will not be seeking re-election. That's how big this was. Now, people weren't happy with that. In fact, they said, no, actually we want you to resign now because there's no reason for you to stay when you clearly don't care about Puerto Ricans if you're literally mocking people who died. Sorry, but you've got to go now. But he was defiant and said, uh, no, I will finish serving out the remainder of my term. To which the people of Puerto Rico responded resoundingly by taking to the streets and calling on him to resign. And what you're seeing on the screen now is an estimated 400,000 people marching on the Espresso Las Americas Highway in San Juan, where they call on him to step down, not when his term is over, but now. And again, the messages alone, I just want to stress here, were not the only reason why they're protesting against him, because he also imposed austerity on Puerto Ricans, and he's allowing Wall Street to profit off of Puerto Rico's pain by exploiting the island. So these protests were bound to happen sooner or later, but the message is just pretty much proved to be a breaking point. And they're being very clear here. They're done with the corruption and he needs to step down. This is about accountability. If you're not going to represent us, if you're going to be that close to special interests and just be corrupt, then you have to leave. We're not going to wait on you to serve out your term. If you're not representing us, if you don't care, then get the fuck out of office. That's basically the message here. And look, Puerto Ricans are showing us how it's done. If you want change, this is exactly what you need to be doing. You take to the streets and you demand that lawmakers who don't care about you and who aren't representing you step down. So I want to play a couple of clips here because, um, first of all, I stand in solidarity with everyone marching in Puerto Rico. But two, I think that this is just so inspirational for everyone to get out and make their voices heard. This matters. This is very meaningful. And I want to help spread the message that they're conveying to uh, the governor of Puerto Rico. Take a look.
That was amazing. I mean, you saw it was raining and they weren't going anywhere. I think AOC put it best. The people have spoken. The people have spoken. That's how it's done. So one thing that I also found fascinating is, is that this wasn't necessarily an organized protest. Like there are reports from people on Twitter who are in San Juan currently that are saying this kind of just happened organically. Like it started with a few people marching and it just grew, it spread. And it's just, it's so inspiring to see this much people stand up for what they believe in and finally take a stand and say no more corruption, no more of you not representing anyone but yourself. You're not in power because you care about the people of Puerto Rico. You're in power because of yourself. You care about special interests, you're corrupt, and clearly you don't care about us. You're making fun of the victims of Hurricane Maria. Sorry, you've got to go. You can't represent us because you don't like us. You've made that very clear. So he absolutely should resign, and I'll be following this story uh, pretty closely because I think it's fascinating. I hope that they stand their ground and stay out there and keep protesting because this is one way to make your voice heard. When there's a lot of protests that take place around the world, you know, oftentimes you don't see any news coverage of it. But when there's this many people, there's no way you can ignore it. Like, they make it impossible for you to turn away. And this is exactly what you have to do if you actually want to accomplish any sort of change whatsoever or hold people in power accountable. So I absolutely love what they're doing and I applaud every single person who is marching in San Juan. This is inspirational and I love it. Keep it up.